Hey, hi, welcome to Old Style Classics Baseball Cards. That's Rob here, and it's January 23rd, 2024. And it's Tuesday. Uh, didn't get any eBay today. Did do some ordering some stuff. Um, so I'm going to show you some more of my um, mini framed relics from Alan and Ginter throughout the years. Uh, but if you got a moment, if you guys wouldn't mind subscribing, uh, maybe leaving some comments and liking the videos if you do, <clears throat> that would help uh, the videos reach more people. I'm not doing ads or anything like that. Just want to reach more people and um, have some interactions with some people who might like the same thing I do. Or even if you don't, got anything to um, comment on, that would be nice. Uh, Hall of Fame today. Voted in uh, Todd Helton, Maurer, and um, was it Beltre? Um, hmm. Anywho, yeah. So, anyways, yeah. <clears throat> Adrian Beltre, Joe Maurer, and uh, Todd Helton make the Hall of Fame today. So, congratulations to them. Um, Kind of surprised old uh, Andrew Jones didn't get in this year. Uh, he's at just under 70%, so maybe next year. Uh, but I don't think Sheffield made it. He, he came up short, and he's off. But he'll probably get in Veterans Committee unless uh, something bad comes up. Um, happy to say Manny Ramirez didn't get in. Supposedly the biggest DB in baseball, even worse than Bonds. Um... Heard some bad stories about old Manny Ramirez, and I think I told the story about when he uh, came off one of his suspensions. He had to go to Albuquerque to play uh, to get, you know, to warm up for going back to the Dodgers, I believe. And um, people were going nuts to go see him play, and the whole thing was a three ring circus, sold out, and everything. All these people excited to go see him play, and he refused to, like, dress up and play and uh so that's just one of the bad things i know about manny ramirez and then i've heard stories about certain type of people he refused to like do autographs for and stuff like after games so we'll leave it at that you can go on youtube and look up first-hand stories people who uh had ex inter interactions with him but i do know about the uh Albuquerque incident so um, ordered a few things online today nothing big uh, just some quick opportunities popped up and um, but I know this is gonna get um, washed out and drowned out by uh, the Hall of Fame announcement today but Oh, there's a Babe Ruth question on Jeopardy right now. Hold on. 1934, note to him, received hunting clothes, and thank you for those wonderful shoes. They fit perfect, your friend Babe Ruth. Hmm. I don't know. It's about American business people. I guess the answer is L.L. Bean. So that's an interesting baseball question right there. But anyways, uh, bad news today. Um... Looks like Ryan Sandberg, Ryan Sandberg announced on his Instagram that he has uh, prostate cancer. We'll be fighting that, so that sucks, especially for me as a Cub fan. But baseball fans in general, the Hall of Famer Ryan Sandberg announced today he has prostate cancer. So we'll keep old Ryan in our uh, prayers. Hope that he gets well. He's a big advocate for my boy Andre Dawson making it into the Hall of Fame. So, fingers crossed, knock on wood, Alakazam, whatever we'll do. Hope Ryan Sandberg is safe. So, yeah, that's that's interesting news. I mean, that's you know, kind of shocking. But hopefully he caught it early enough and uh, can fight that off. So, prayers go out to Ryan Sandberg. So, anyways, I'm going to show you more of these... Um, Alan and Ginter mini frame relics that I got and uh, these are the ones that I showed the last two days the first round 
and then I had the other ones from after that just in the other aisle. Hey, there goes my wife. Hi, everybody. I'm Hi, babe. I like you for all of us. She's going off to the other room to watch the first episode of The Young Indiana Jones on Disney. Uh, because I watched it the other day and thought, ah, maybe she'll like it. So, um, she's going to watch that first episode so we can start watching the other 22 episodes together. And they're all like an hour and 30 minutes. So it's like a movie every time. So we're going to binge that at some point here. And, um, but I don't want to watch that first one again. So she's going to go watch that while I do old style classic baseball cards. So anyways, I'll just run through these first ones that I showed you guys real quick. Um, Miguel Cabrera, that's 2009. This for first one was a 2009 as well. Gallardo, 2009. Got a bunch of 2009s apparently back then. Sizemore. Now with eBay, you could just buy them left and right for a few bucks. Or even at the card shop, you can get like five for fifteen sometimes. But back in the day, it was you know it was cool pulling a card like that, uh, and you didn't get as often. But he used to do pretty good in blasters back in the day. Between them and Gypsy Queen, Alan Ginter and Gypsy Queen used to do pretty good. That's 2010. Uh, Tory Hunter, double I, Tory Hunter. Kurt Gibson, oh, I mean Robinson Cano. That's beautiful, beautiful print right there. That Allen and Ginter, that deep red. I really dig that. If you hear all that banging, that's the neighbor upstairs. Even though we live in a brand new building. Freddie Freeman. Keep hitting him in mind. Artie Lang. Comedian. I'll show the back of that since I didn't do that on the last video. So Artie Lang, comedian. Rosario. So Got to clip my nails again, folks. Willen. 10th anniversary, 2015. 2008 buyback, J.J. Hardy. Old style classic baseball cards. Hey, I wonder where the boys are. I haven't heard from old George Debbie and Bill Clinton and them guys in a while. I guess it's because they haven't gotten any kind of cards they want to see recently. I wonder if they're still hanging out with the Engine Masters in a roadkill garage. Dolchek and Freiburger down there. In Central California, it's been raining a lot. So they're probably back to mud bogging or something like that. Alright, could I say who that was? Uh, Miguel Cabrera again. Adrian Gonzalez. And a really nice John Lester pinstripe, 2016, the year the Cubs won the World Series. So that's great to have a card from the year that they actually did it. All right, so just figured I'd show those for consistency, and I like them, so why not show them again, right? All right, the next stack that we have, because I already showed you my 2023 hits, um, maybe I can add those in later um, but right now I'll stick with everything up to that point I believe I haven't gone through this other aisle yet I still got a whole aisle in this uh, three row card box but there's another great one to get look at that the professor Greg Maddox Former Cub, 2018 Allen & Ginter, mini framed piece of his gray jersey there. And if you've seen the 2023 one, I believe, that's the one where I got a piece of his, uh, his bat relic. I thought that was super funny, getting a pitcher's bat as the relic. But for you young folks out there, you whippersnappers your hip and your hop pitchers used to have to bat until last year so anyways that's a cool one Greg Maddox all right then 
2020. There you go, Big Mac, Mark McGuire, standing rings not great on the card. I don't know where all the junk and stuff ends up on these top loaders all the time. Anyways, a white jersey relic, Mark McGuire, with the Cardinals there. Star first baseman of the St. Louis Cardinals. He obviously didn't make it in the Hall of Fame. All right. Speak of St. Louis. Yadier Molina bat relic card. 2020. Nice little bat relic. He'll be a future Hall of Famer most likely. He'll get that catcher's bump. Alright, then here we've got a, this is a really nice one now. This people was in 2021, and you'll notice the design on these um, frames are really minimalistic, and that's because of the endemic and not being able to get a lot of um, material it was scarce, you know, remember all the shipping problems they were having, and so just the fact that they were able to get something out, um, you gotta so when you see these and you think wow why did they get so bland well they're a product of the times and uh so i appreciate it and it's a beautiful card it's just that for whatever reason they weren't able to make the frames any fancier than this so this one's a really nice one byron buxton so you can see there's no elaborate design in the frame you know it's just plain but that's okay because that's kind of a timestamp in all our lives. Who had to live through that? Unbelievably. That's a really nice Jersey Relic. Dark, dark blue. Byron Buxton Twins. The beautiful Twins logo. I love those hats. It looks a little big on that hat though. So Byron Buxton, big chase from the past. Everyone uh, when he first came out was a big, he was like the Julio Rodriguez or something of the time or uh, Corbin Carroll or something like that and it's a good player but was never as big as everyone thought but solid player all right another one for 2021 similar situation for this guy he started off hot and then kind of petered out a little bit still a good player though Reese Hoskins for your Phillies uh, he was a big chase for a while. Kind of a regular old relic there. But like again, once again, 2021, who knows? Just the fact that they got product out was amazing. And it may have more to do, well, especially on again to come out later in the summer, that they were probably pretty well affected by the shutdown. But a lot of stuff was probably printed earlier or already in the process. But then it became a shipping issue. Like, they weren't really shipping baseball cards all over the country for a while there. Alright, here's a nice one. Another nice looking Jersey Relic rookie card. Pearson. That's a nice royal dark blue. Toronto dark blue. Nate Pearson. So nice little AMG back on those that year. But that's a beautiful card. I like that. A little off centered left to right, but relic cards get what you get. At least they're not the jumbo relics where they're all bent up corners and falling apart because they're 20 layers deep. All right, here's another good one for me. Mr. Mr. Anthony Rizzo. Chicago Cubs there, folks, not the Yankees. All-time Cubs great, but now with your Yankees. For you Yankee fans out there, but Rizzo will always be a Cub. Will always be welcomed in Chicago. He caught the last out 
for the Cubs to win the World Series. Pocketed the ball. So everybody loves Rizzo. I don't I would say he's um you know, if he could stack up some more numbers, he might as a first baseman get in someday. Alright, here we go. Another there we, Mr. Joey Vato. Tend to get a lot of Vato stuff, it seems like. But Cincinnati Red, great. Joey Votto, possibly. Could be a Hall of Famer there in four or five years. He'll have his shot, that's for sure. What do you guys think? Uh, anyone want to leave a comment? How do you think Ichiro, which will be the first unanimous Hall of Famer? I think so. Considering what he did and not even getting to play in the majors for like those six years in Japan and then doing what he did. I mean, he's a Hall of Famer just based on what he did in the major leagues. Then you take what he did in the Japanese league and then you try to figure out, well, what would that have meant in the majors? I mean, dude probably would have passed Pete Rose. So hopefully uh, Ichiro will be the first unanimous. I hope so. And, uh, you know, he's going to be a first ballot Hall of Famer. What do you guys think? Will Ichiro be a unanimous Hall of Famer? Or are you thinking more like uh, Albert Pujols? But Ichiro gets first bid, first chance. All right, so there's Alex Bregman. So there's the guy from Albuquerque, New Mexico. Went to El Dorado High School. Just uh, our, our high school's rival team. I went to Manzano. El Dorado was on just down the road about five or five miles. Off the same street, basically. Actually used to live right next to El Dorado, probably when he was playing high school ball. No, maybe not that. Yeah, he's not that old. But you remember, I used to live next to the high school there at Montgomery and Wantabo, just off that a little ways up. And uh, <laughs> every, it was like a certain day every week, the band would be out there practicing, and it was just all doom, 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 doom. And it would go on for like an hour and it used to drive me nuts. <laughs> so, and I went to summer school at El Dorado one time because I needed to get some classes so I could graduate on time. And I actually flunked a class in summer school. Can you believe that? It was like science or something like that, chemistry. <laughs> I just didn't care. But then I did when the regular school year started went to school from like 7 in the morning till like 9 o'clock at night I was able to graduate on time so don't put yourself through that folks it's funny what you can do when you're under pressure though you ain't got time to screw around you can just focus alright there's Mr. Alex Bregman of the Mayor Houston Astros my board George Herbert Walker Bush Big Houston Astros fan. Big Houston Astros fan. But not a fan of how they won it all. Can't say that I find it prudent. I think that's what old George would say. Alright, I told you guys to keep your eyes peeled on the Freddie Freeman stuff. So there's another Freddie Freeman. That's a really nice one with red. Dark red. And that matches that. 2022 red frame really nice that's a beautiful card centering looks pretty darn good mostly so we showed you I got one of his earlier relics in that last stack and we got his metal card so that's another nice one I like that card all right, and then who we got here? A Rod, 
did not make it today. Would he get like 12, 13% of the vote or 20 or something like that? It's cool to though. Nice to have an A-Rod Relic. He's a good player. But um, all the money he made and as good as he was and then get busted for what he did and you know so uh, you know started a trend that's uh killing baseball just it's too it's gotten ridiculous the prices but um you know maybe he'll hurt his feelings not being in the hall of fame but his pocket's not going to be hurt so unless he blew his money He's still on TV, so I guess uh, more interested in uh, having a lot of money than having a legacy. But anyways, there's old Aaron. He's a good player, though. And the reason I could say these things about Manny Ramirez, Barry Bonds. A-Rod, any of them other guys that I don't think should be in the Hall of Fame is because, you know what? As a Cub fan, I'm in the same boat with you guys, the McGuire's and all them guys. I'm in the same boat. And this guy was actually likable. People liked him. He was fun. He, he did a lot of things. And they don't talk about, but he was the first person in Major League Baseball to ever hit 66 home runs. He did it a couple hours before McGuire ever did. So, he'll always have that feather in his cap. But first man to 66 home runs ever, and that would be Mr. Sammy Sosa. Just talking to my wife about seeing how Todd Helton play down in Colorado. At the time when I would go see the Cubs play, drive up to old Denver and uh, see the Cubs play every uh, couple years and um, so I must have seen Helton play but one of those uh, games I was here watching the Cubs play them and saw Sammy Sosa hit a few home runs at Coors Field and he hit a home run so hard so far it was like three quarters of the way up that right field scoreboard and broke some of the lights on that uh, man that was insane that must have been I think it what was that in 2000 yeah it was probably in 2000 September me and my buddy went up there it was either that time I think the time before that would have been 95 or I don't know maybe I went 98 I don't remember but I have to look at my ticket stubs so anyways, there you go. That's going to close that chapter of the hits off for the mini frames. Uh, because I don't think I have any more unless they're floating around out there somewhere. Which I actually do. I know, I know that I have like that um, 2006 Clint Barnes that I recently picked up to go with that first autograph I ever got from Alan Ginter. Um, but that's somewhere because I had Put those together when I was doing a video so I might have a few others people that are out of order here but that'll do um, until I get everything back together but hey I mean they were not worth a whole lot of money now in my book I don't understand like let's say this was a rookie Sammy Sosa relic wouldn't you rather have a rookie card with a relic then you would just plain old rookie card. And then to boot, wouldn't you rather have the rookie card autograph than just have a plain old rookie card? I'm just saying that this is rarer than the rookie card, if hypothetically. But anywho, there you go. So we got some Hall of Famers, some future Hall of Famers, some maybe Hall of Famers, and some superstars. And then some people that um, kind of disappeared. But just think of it to be as good as it takes to even get to the major leagues. You know, even if it's a base card, base person, think of 
you know, they talk about getting in the Hall of Fame is like 1% of every person who's ever played in the major leagues. Well, think of making in the major leagues, making it up to the big show. You know, that's probably under, it's like a fraction of a percent of people who played baseball and um, like organized baseball. Or, you know, college, high school, little league, you know, whatever. But just, just like, even if you were to say like college, like under 1% of all people who've ever gotten to that level even make it to the majors or even the pros. So, whether you're, uh, you know, maybe that Sammy Sosa card's worth 10 bucks. But he is one of the greats in baseball, superstar, well-liked person who will never get in the Hall of Fame because of what he's done. In my opinion, he shouldn't be in there. Maybe he gets in, so I can't be 100%. I'm no uh, soothsayer, but um, I don't think he belongs. He made his money. He's got his fame. He's got his fortune. And he's likable. There's nothing to dislike about him other than the fact that he uh, most likely cheated pretty good. So, But nevertheless, it's still a cool card. Uh, he was a very entertaining guy and did a lot for baseball. So give him some props, you know. We all make mistakes, but the level of cheating, you know. Oh, well. I'm not going to justify it or crucify him. So there you go, folks. That's uh, about a half an hour almost. So um, I guess I could do a second video because she's going to be in there for at least another hour. And um, so maybe I'll move on to some of my um, numbered cards. So maybe we'll get to some chrome stuff. All right, folks. Thanks for watching old style, pure, genuine, classic, someday to be classic, but always baseball cards and other cards and other hobbies and old style classics baseball cards for short. Hey, once again, thanks for watching my videos. Hope you enjoy this. You know, if you want to show, uh, Show me what you got. That'd be great too. Um, leave a comment. Subscribe if you can. Talk to you later for, from me and my wife. See you in a few.